Hi guys, today I have a super exciting video, but I think before we get into that, should I just address the elephant in the room right away? Because clearly I dyed my hair. <laughs> and it's now very dark and I'm not used to it, but I'm kind of living for it. And I'm not sure how well you can see it on camera, but like the underside of my hair is blue. And I don't know, someone put a seed in my brain like a year ago, one of my friends, he was like, you know what, you should dye your hair black and blue. And ever since I've been like, do I really want to do that? Because black is scary. I've never had black in my hair before. I did not know if I would like it. And I know this is going to be a bitch to get out. So hopefully I'll stick with this for a while. I mean, we'll see what happens. But for now, I really, really like it. And I'm super excited because like I said, we're going to be playing with a new collection. And this is the Glamlight and Frosted Flakes collection. I When, when I saw this get uh, like sneak peeked and announced, I was like, oh my God, this is why I love Glamlight. I love how just playful they are. They don't take themselves too seriously. They're collabing with a cereal brand. Like, come on, like that is just so cool and so cute. And I, if I did not get this sent in PR, I absolutely 100% would have bought this myself because I think everything in this collection is so cute. And I also like that it's not a huge collection. Like there's only one palette, there are two lip kits and a highlighter. So I will show you the items in the collection before we get into trying them. Let's go ahead and start out with the lip kits. Like I said, there are two in here. One of them contain a gloss as well as a lip liner. And when I first saw the gloss, I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna like this because it's kind of like a blue gloss, but swatching it out, it's more like a clear gloss with sparkles. So it's definitely not as blue as maybe it looks in the tube. And the other set has a beautiful lipstick as well as a lip liner to go with it. I do wish that the lip liner matched the lipstick, but that is just like a me thing. Like I prefer to have the same color in both and not have like an ombre lip situation. But again, that is totally just me. There is also a super cute highlighter in here. I love that this looks like a cereal bowl and like it just it feels really nice. It feels like very thick plastic but it's very durable and I love I just like how it feels. I don't know that's kind of weird to say but like just the way that it feels when you like dump the loose powder into the cap. It just feels really nice quality and the swatch of it is absolutely beautiful. Sadly, I did put on a little bit of highlighter before I started filming this because I completely forgot that there was a highlighter in this collection, but I did try to remove it. So we're obviously going to try this on, but if you can see a little bit of like a blue tint on my face, that is because I already had a blue highlighter on. So I tried to remove it. Like I said, we're definitely going to be trying it. We're going to be trying all of these products. And of course the palette, the palette is the thing that I am always the most excited about. I'm only gonna have time to do one look because I did not get my package very quickly and this collection has already launched So I want to make sure I get a video for you guys as soon as possible So like I said, this collection is already live and you can use my code Annette to save 15% off It is affiliated just so you know, but let's take a look at the palette because the palette is so Cute and when I first saw the outside of this palette on their Instagram I was worried that this was yet again going to be just another monochromatic palette from Glamlight and I'm so happy to say that it's not because I feel like in the past they would have done two palettes. They would have done one blue palette and one sort of orangey palette. And I'm so glad that they decided to combine the two colors because it makes it so much more interesting, so much more unique. And I really enjoy the color story of this. I think you can do so many different things. And this is way more curated than I feel like they have done in the past because a lot of the time they'll do like a full on rainbow palette or just like a monochromatic palette. And it's nice to see something a little bit different. And I just think that I'm gonna have so much fun with this. Now, obviously for today's look and for this look, I'm just gonna be using the blues because listen, I just, I need something to go with my hair because I have not done my makeup since I did my new hair color. And I just wanna, I just wanna go like all in. <laughs> I just wanna go all in with these bottom two rows. And I'm sure other people are going to be using the top row. So if you wanna see more content with this, I'm sure it is out there on the internet already. But let's go ahead and put on a lipstick first. So I want to use the lip liner as well as the lipstick. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the lip liner. Like I said, I'm not sure how I'm going to love this combo just because the lip liner is darker than the lipstick, but we're going to go ahead and try it. It's all about the formula. I just want to see like how they look, how they feel, and if I like them individually, because that's probably how I'm going to be using them. So the lip liners are definitely quite a stiff formula. It just depends on what you are looking for in your lip liners. Personally, I like both. I don't have any problems with lip liners that are very creamy or something that is really stiff. But if I had to pick like my perfect lip formula, I would say it's something that's like a little bit softer than this because this is kind of stiff and it's a little bit harder to sort of fill in your lips with it than it is with something that's a little bit softer, but that's totally okay. Let's go ahead and try out the lipstick. So I think that 
the component of this is just absolutely adorable and it just it feels like really really nice quality um, I'm not sure if I showed you like the actual close-up of this in the beginning of the video but this is so cute and I personally think that this color isn't my perfect color normally I don't gravitate towards like peachy color so i'm hoping this is going to be a little bit more sort of pink leaning on the lips but we'll see i'm gonna go ahead and put this on okay i don't dislike this color as much as maybe i thought i would it again this is just a personal preference thing i find that sometimes colors like this can look a little bit off on me but i feel like this is a dark enough peach that it doesn't look weird. It does feel a little bit dry, but again, my lips are very dry. So that's probably why I'm gonna see how this wears throughout the video, but I do really like the color of this. I actually think that I like the combination of the lip liner and the lipstick more than, again, I originally thought. So it just goes to show you can't judge something without trying it because I do think that this combo is actually quite nice. And I don't feel like the lip liner is too dark for the lipstick, which sometimes I feel like with sets like this. So. Let's go ahead and try out the highlighter before I do the eyeshadow. So this is a loose highlighter. There was a protective thing on the top here. So I'm just gonna dump some of this in and we're gonna go ahead and apply it. I have a feeling that this is going to be extremely intense because it was when I swatched it. And I do find that loose highlighters do tend to be more intense just because you're able to put on a lot more, a lot faster. Okay, that is actually really pretty. It just looks it's really just like a, a wet looking highlighter. And I think that this is going to work for a lot of different skin tones. And I think they did a really good job with this. It doesn't have like too much of a base color that it leaves a cast, even though it is quite a, 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 how do I say this? It's not a white highlighter, but it sort of is a white highlighter without a base. So it was really just like, this actually reminds me a little bit of the How Many Carrots one from Fenty. Is that what that one is called? But I feel like this one sticks to my face a lot more. Like I bought that highlighter from Fenty and I ended up returning it because I felt like I had glitter all over my face and I didn't like that. But I think this looks really nice. Yeah, I think that looks beautiful. And if it looks like I have stains all over my body that are blue and black, I probably do because I am, I am a stain at this moment. <laughs> That's what happens when you do your own hair and you don't know how to not make a mess. You should see my bathroom. Actually, you don't want to see my bathroom because it is, it's, it's, it's bad. <laughs> so I'm going to start by priming my eyes with my Natasha Denona eyeshadow base and we're going to go ahead and do a blue look. And of course I'm excited because blue is like my favorite eyeshadow color ever. So I think no matter what I end up doing today is going to look amazing and I'm going to love it. And if this is the normal glam light formula that I'm used to, Again, I know I'm going to love it because I, I never have any problems with Glam Lights Formula. I think it's great. I'm going to start with the darkest of the blue shades. I might deepen it up with the black. We'll see how this ends up looking. But I'm going to start with this one. This one is called Go Getter. I'm just going to take that on a very small kind of fluffy brush here. This one is from ColourPop. It's the E21. And I'm just going to use that to pack in the outer corner of my eye. I do want to try to be a little bit careful with this because sometimes I find with dark matte blues, they do tend to have a little bit of fallout. So I just don't really want that to happen. So I'm just going to put this down exactly where it is that I want it to go. And then I will blend it out with another shade. This is laying down very nicely. I am just going to blend a little bit on the edge here just so that when I do go in with a lighter shade, it's gonna be a little bit easier to blend. I'm not taking it all the way through my crease, just like two thirds or so. And I'm also gonna take some of this underneath my eye. I might actually run this all the way across my lower lash line and then we can maybe layer some shimmers or something over the top of this. I love this color. Ooh. Gonna switch to one of my Refer 14 brushes and I'm gonna use this shade, I think. To blend this out with i could easily use this one but i think i want to use this one because it's such a cool teal shade and i also want to use the teal on my lids so i'm gonna go ahead and take this this one is called teamwork i want to have too much of this so i'm gonna tap it off a little bit and i'm just gonna run that over the edge where my skin meets that blue and i'm gonna take that all the way through my crease as well and i'm just gonna work on blending these two colors together until i'm happy with the blend
This color combo is like a match made in heaven. Like these two blended in together so beautifully. I really like these two. Oh, they're so pretty. Next up, I'm gonna take some glitter primer and we're gonna use some of these shimmers. Now, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and use two of them and we're gonna see how they look. Maybe I'll use three. I think I'm just gonna use two though, but we'll see. Just going to put some of my glitter primer all over my lid where I want my shimmers to go. And I'm gonna start with this shade. I think I'm just gonna use these two because that is kind of just what's calling to me right now. So I'm gonna start with this one. This one is called Sweet Spark. And I am so excited for this. This is basically just going all over my lid except for a little bit in the inner corner where I'm gonna layer that more iridescent shade. But oh my God, this looks so good. Oh, look how metallic that is. That is beautiful. That's exactly what I wanted in this look. I know this is super simple and I know it's nothing crazy or very original, but honestly, I don't care because this is what I wanted to do today and I'm gonna wear the makeup that I wanna wear today. And that is just where I'm at right now. This looks so good. Okay, and then with the other side of my brush, I'm gonna go into the shade here called Milk, which is the white shade. And I'm just gonna put that in the front portion here and blend it over that turquoise. Yeah, this is exactly what I wanted. This is so pretty. And I guess just to test out another shade, I'm gonna take the shade called Frosted and I'm gonna put that on the front portion of my lower lash line. I'm gonna give that a little spritz here since I don't have any glitter primer under my eye. I just don't prefer to do that because I don't know, I just find that it's just too much product under my eye. But this is a beautiful, very frosty blue shade. I'm just gonna layer that over some of the mattes here. And Glamalize shimmers are so pretty. Like, are there maybe a couple of blue shimmers in here that look a little bit too similar? Maybe, maybe you could accomplish the same thing by like, you know, layering two of them together or blending them on top of each other. But I think that this look is so me and I love this. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish off. I think this is all I'm gonna do. I'm just going in with a little bit more of that dark matte in the outer corner. I don't wanna add black. I feel like this is definitely dark enough as it is. So I'm just gonna finish off with some liner and mascara and I'll come back and show you the look and give you my first impression thoughts on this collection. Okay, so here is the completed look. I did put some of the gloss on top of the lipstick because I felt like it was a little bit dry and I just wanted to see what it would look like and I don't feel like you can't really see like the blue in it at all. And I, I really like that. I feel like it's a quite a versatile gloss and for being in like a blue container, I was kind of scared at first, but I actually like this way more than I thought I would, which I feel like I said about all the lip products, but everything in this collection, I mean, I have nothing bad to say. I think everything performed like a dream. I think the formulas are amazing. They are the good quality glam light that I'm used to. And I don't think that if you were to pick up anything from this collection that you would be disappointed because it's it's all beautiful. And I think that they did such a good job with this palette. I think the color story is so fun. And there are so many things you can do with this. You can obviously go all blue. You can go all sort of orange and gold and you can do a neutral look if you want to. And I just think that this is a really well curated palette with a lot of deep shades, a lot of mid shades. There maybe aren't that many light mattes, but for me personally, this is like my perfect depth of a palette. Like I don't want lighter mattes than this because I don't, it's just not how I do my makeup, but I can totally see other people looking at this palette and feeling like there are some transition shades missing, but I also just feel like this makes it so that people of every skin tone can use every shade in this palette. And I appreciate that. I think that is really, really nice. So yeah, that's, I guess, going to be it for today. If you want to see some more glam light content, of course, I have a playlist. I will put that right there. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one.